Hello everyone and welcome to podcast uh, episode number three for the Optimistic Urban Stud Fibers podcast. My name is Leah and I'm in Kansas City and uh, I blog on WordPress.com as the Optimistic Urban Stud Fibers and then Optimistic Urban Steaders. I'm on Ravelry as Mrs. O Urban Steader and then I also have an Etsy shop called Color Coordination. So I thought that I would go ahead and record again today. It has just been a crazy week. It has been crazy. Been trying to record and re-record and thought I had finished and something happened with the video. So I'm starting over again, uh, but that's given me time to work on more of my projects. Oops. So uh, today in our fluffies, we have Mr. Snape with us today and he's, he's a little sweetie. He's been hanging out. He is shedding, so he's got fur flying everywhere. But anyhow, he's hanging out here today. I just love him. He's such a relaxed little little critter. Yep, so that's our fluffies. And welcome to those of you who are coming back. Thank you so much for watching the podcast again. And uh, thank you for joining me to those of you that this is your first time. I hope you enjoy this. So this is a podcast that... Um, I started, this is for knitting, crocheting, uh, fiber related, whatever, spinning, and then whatever randomness that pops into my head that I'll share with you. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and let him hop around and we will do our FOs. I have a couple of them. I only had one, but since it's taken so long to actually finish this podcast, well, for um, I have a couple of them. So the first one that I finished is this washcloth. And I just love this. Let's see if you can see the pattern on it. Um, this is... What pattern is this? This is Kitchen Dishcloth. This is Nani's favorite dish, kitchen dishcloth by Joan Laws. It's a free pattern on Ravelry if you go on there and look. Um, I knitted this with the Peaches and Cream Seaside Stripes. And uh, that's a 100% cotton, and it makes absolutely amazing washcloths. My mom used to make, she used to crochet them when I was a little kid, and I didn't appreciate them as much as I do now. Now I love them. They're a quick little project, but this actually matches the colors that we have in our kitchen that we've been working on, and I'm very, very excited about this color. I have two half skeins left over. I made another one. So this should make another washcloth at least. We'll see how far we can get on that. But I'm very excited. I used Bates. Uh, this is right here. These straight needles. These are Bates size 5. Oh, I'm sorry. These are boys. They're size 5, 3.5 millimeter needles. Um, and they worked great for this project. They worked They worked very, very well. I was really pleased with them. Um, it makes a pretty tight pattern on it and it's got like a almost a woven pattern which I really really like on it so I don't know why I keep turning it that way but I sure do but uh yeah I'm very excited about these washcloths I want to make a set of them to match the kitchen and uh, I've also got another project that I'm working on that I will show you later that's my works in progress but for my second and last finished object, I finished a skein of yarn for the beige cable knit shawl that I was working on. That's going to be my campfire shawl in my projects. But there is that. Um, and this turned out to be still a fingering weight, but it's a little bit thicker in some places, and so I think it'll work out fine in my shawl. Um, and as you can see, I've used up quite a bit of it. I started with 3.5 ounces of raw natural alpaca that we get. Uh, and it's still, like I said, it's got the vegetable matter and all of that in it. Um, so I carded it and spun it on our spindles that we make here. And, um, and then it's a two-ply. And it's this natural cream color. And I, I just I love it because it comes out with different stripes and everything is just amazing. He's eating his nibbles down there. But um, 
yeah, it came out great. 291 yards, I believe, is what I came out with. And this is what I've got left um, in the ball. There's buzz everywhere. Whew. I'm also sitting in the back room of our older home. It's built in the 1920s, and there is no central AC. So it's getting slightly warm back here. But um, Anyhow, so that was all of my ethos. So for my works in progress, I've shown this to you before, but this is the progress that I've made. Um, this is my beige cable knit shawl that uh, I've been working on for quite some time. That's going to be my campfire shawl. And um, this is the third skein that I've been working on. Last time I showed you, I've made about that much progress. I don't know if you can see the difference in the... In the... Um, how thick it is but there's a definitely a difference but I think it'll be fine I don't think it should be any problem at all but look at these stripes you guys that's just the natural stripes on it and uh, I'm very excited to finish this up yep there it is and then this has been on my 29 inch I think these are baits yeah these are bait circulars uh, 29 inch Size 2, um, 2.75 millimeters. It's playing down there. Um, and like I said, this is the this is a free pattern, but it's by Lauren Olander on Ravelry. And uh, the beige cable knit shawl. So, yep, this has been a whole lot of fun to make the whole entire thing from raw nasty materials all the way up to a finished project and I'm very excited to see how it turns out I love how rustic it is I love the unexpected uh, stripes that it makes I love the chunkies and the just all of the interest in it there's just all the bits and bobbles I don't like things to be perfect so much I like them to be interesting and and I think that's accomplished that so, yes, there it is. Yep, I'm very, very excited about getting that one finished. So, my second work in progress, um, I showed you the washcloth that I was working on. The second thing, I've got a package of, um, flower sec, um, tea towels that I've had sitting around for some time and I've been wanting to embroider them but I haven't got around to it but I thought of something a little bit different to do I wanted to crochet a border on them so I started doing that uh, I found this this is Red Heart uh, Classic it's 100% cotton I think it's size 10 and the colorway is Peacock and it comes in these little rolls like this but the colorway is peacock and it matches perfectly. I don't know. Something. Ta da! <laughs> but yeah, this matches the painting that we have on the inside of our cupboards. And I'm very excited. So, I've been crocheting this border and I didn't find the pattern on Ravelry actually, I found it on. Pinterest so I will attach the link for it in my show notes and that'll be on our wordpress.com uh, blog for the optimistic urban stutter fibers blog but um, here's the pattern that I've been working on it's actually only two rows so far and there's only three rows in there there's just gonna be little loops on the top as I go along so that'll be a whole lot of fun to finish that up I actually just finished going around the whole part of it. I did a blanket stitch around and then um, crocheted on from there and that seems a whole lot easier. I've tried poking my crochet needles through and doing it that way and it takes forever. Doing the blanket stitch with um, a needle it leaves more ends that I've got to weave in but it's still faster than what I was trying to do and I find much less frustrating so I've really enjoyed this and I think it'll come out nice. Just something pretty to use and to hang in the kitchen. I'm very excited. So, 
and there's the second one. Um, and then I said this was a uh, size 10 uh, crochet thread. Where did this go? Yeah, size 10, 100% cotton, and then in the roll it's 300 yards of it. And the hook that I've been using is another boy hook. Let's see if I can show this to you. Not very well. My cam excuse me, my camera is not the best. But it's a boy needle, uh, 1.80 millimeter size 6 crochet hook. And it's, it's a very small, but... I could have even used a smaller one, but that's the smallest one that I have, and it's it's working great. So I've been very excited about that. I'm I'm looking forward to using it. That'll be really nice. All right, my third work in progress has been this apron. And this is the reason that I do not sew fast. I have had to rip this out so many times, and this is all wrinkled. I pre-washed it. Uh, because the colors were running but yeah it's all wrinkled I washed it and hung it on the line and then folded it up and it's been a folded mess since then but uh it's got this full apron size and then if you can see these sides um, it's got curved sides so I will be doing a crocheted uh, hen border all around there it's a little red hen design for the crochet border and I'll Put a link for that as well that I'll do all the way around the bottom and then I'll do um, across the top and then down the sides on that and uh, it's gonna be a gift so I'd like to finish it up this next week but we'll see how things go it's been a little bit wild and crazy here so we'll see what happens but I'm very anxious to finish that up and see how it comes out It'll be very nice. The sewing's finished, now it's just the crocheting. The last work in progress that I have, oh, I didn't mention this. And I was so disappointed in myself last time. So I've been watching podcasts quite a bit. Sorry about that. Uh, so I was watching Handmade and Woolen. They used to be Tiny Paper Foxes, and I think that's still their group on Ravelry. But they've got a wardrobe staple make-along that I was really excited about. and. My shawl that I'm working on, well, that's going to be part of that. That's I think I'm going to wear it for everything, really. Like I'm one of those people who wear a blanket all of the time when I'm sitting, just comfortably snuggling under it. Doesn't matter the temperature. Usually, unless it's really, really hot, I like to sit under a blanket. So it would be very nice to have something big and cozy like that to have if I'm sitting outside and we're barbecuing or. Um, we go out to the beach or something, just something to keep me nice and warm, especially on fall nights when it starts getting nice and cool, and that will just, I will pretty much wear that all of the time, I think, just sitting around and staying warm and cozy. But the other, um, it's not a make-along, but it's a tour de fleece that has been going on, and that's with Laura, um, I'm part of that group at the corner of Knit and Tea. Laura, which was one of the first podcasts that I started watching, and I just love it. But we're doing the Tour de Fleece, so I've been spinning. And so this is my last uh, work in progress that I've been doing. And then this is on my uh, other hand-done spindles that we make here. Oops, sorry. Uh, I've been painting those and putting them together and testing them. And then... So this is, this color is not coming through well at all. That one's got more cream in it, but it's a 50-50 um, alpaca angora mix. Yeah, that is not coming through well at all. This is 2.1 ounces of it that I spun up, and it's I think it's going to come out to probably a cobweb weight, or maybe even a thread weight. It's Kind of thin in some places. It's got lots of bobbles in it and um, it's not going to come out perfect which is exactly what I love but it is going to still be dainty, very delicate, soft, fluffy. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. It's probably taken me <clears throat> of interrupted time. It's probably taken me about 35 hours 
to do these two little half skeins here. <laughs> these are just the singles. I've still got to do the center ply ball and then I'll two ply them after that. That was a tip that Laura taught on the, the corner of knit and tee and it's, it's worked out great. I love it. But anyhow, these two, it's like an apricot peach and um, I just, I'm very excited about these colors. It's like a pinky. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm very excited about it. It's really sad that this is not coming through well. They're very shiny on here. <laughs> Anyhow, I've posted pictures of my progress on the group notes. So, yep, we'll see how those turn out. That's very nice. I think my next uh, spinning project, I've got some yellow, I think it's yellow alpaca that I've dyed, and I think I'm going to spin that up next, and then another natural cream alpaca for this uh, shawl that I've been working on and try and get that done. So I've been spinning my little heart out, even though it doesn't look like much, I've been doing a whole lot. So. Um, I've seen a lot of people on their podcast, they do a mail section of it, and uh, at least for today, I got a couple of things in that I'm very excited, so I thought I would show them to you guys, too. So, Laura, again, she was talking about, there's a tea shop here in Kansas City, and I didn't realize that. I got on and looked at their website and signed up for their newsletter, and they sent me this free sample of tea, and it is amazing. I love jasmine and floral teas. This is Yin Hao Jasmine. I've had this in my cup. Let me show you my cup. So this is <laughs> my Tea Havana cup that I have been drinking out of for forever. And I've had this thing for forever. I just love it. But um, this tea is amazing. It is like heaven in a flower garden. It is absolutely amazing. I've had a bit of it before when I was trying to podcast and those didn't work out very well. So I'm having it again and I'm not sad about it at all. I think I'm going to have to go and get buckets of it. They've got a sale going on right now and um, when's a better time to get buckets of tea than on a sale. So, so that's my first thing and I would highly recommend looking at their website. This is amazing you guys, really. It is one of the best teas that I've had. I get a lot there's organic ones that I buy in tins. Um, I've gotten tea from Tia Vanna before, and this is the best um, jasmine tea that I've had yet. I'm sure there's probably even better ones out there, but this one is my favorite out of all of them so far. So that is my first thing. My second thing, I'll tell you what, this fuzz. <laughs> My second thing that I have, I was, I told you about the honey cowl that I was going to make, and that was with this yarn that the name has been lost to time. I have no idea what this is. I think this is bamboo and silk, but really I'm not sure. I'm hoping I can go back to the same store where I found it and find another skein of it, but we'll see. This might be enough for the project that I'm doing. But I needed a size 32 circular. Uh, and I wanted bamboo because I have not had the best of luck with all of the, um, I think these are aluminum, but my bamboo needles are what have worked the best for me and I went online and I've been looking and looking at different ones. I even saw some of the interchangeable ones, but I wanted a size zero needle and I couldn't find any with the, the length of cord that I needed and then the size of needle that I needed, but I've ordered these type of needles before and they have worked out amazing. So something about me, either I care a whole lot about something or I don't care much about it at all. Um, and I know there's a lot of people who swear by their brand, but I bought these humongous bundle. These are 32 inch long. Um, these are off of Amazon and I just got them in. and. These are the perfect size. They're bamboo, carbonized bamboo. And they're from size 2 millimeters all the way up to 10 millimeters. So any uh, size 
that I could ever possibly need will be in here. And I think this is a really good way to be able to work on my projects and have bamboo, but also um, figure out which needles that I work a lot with and maybe if I really, really use them, invest in some very, very nice ones. But these retailed, I think they were on sale, but they retailed for um, $10 normally, but I think I got them all for 9 and that was with a three-day delivery. And I'm very excited to use them. That is not much at all investment, I feel, for, I mean, <laughs> it's like 50 cents a piece. I don't know. But uh, they've worked great. I haven't had any problems with the needles pulling out of the cords at all. Um, so hopefully this week I will also get cast on that honey cow. And we'll see how that goes. And I will be using the tiny, tiny 2 millimeter. We'll see. We'll see how the fabric turns out. It seems like it's going to be really good. Um, and I will put a I will put a link to the pattern for that that I'm going to work on on uh, the show notes as well. So that's about all that I have to show for you today. It's been a wild, crazy week here. I hope this makes some kind of sense and it's not too discombobulated. It's just been wild and crazy and I had some time and was fairly stress free so I thought I'd sit down and do another podcast for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like it um, and if you really enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.